Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the meaning of habeas corpus? Habeas corpus is a Latin phrase that translates to that you have the body, and it is a fundamental concept in the legal system, particularly in the context of protecting individual liberty. Historical background. The origins of habeas corpus date back to 1215 with the 39th clause of the Magna Carta, which stipulated that no one could be arrested or imprisoned except by the lawful judgment of their peers and by the law of the land. Legal definition. Habeas corpus is a common law writ issued to bring a prisoner or detainee before a court to determine if their detention is lawful. It is a summons with the force of a court order addressed to the custodian demanding that the prisoner be brought before the court and that the custodian present proof of authority for the detention. Purpose and function. The primary purpose of habeas corpus is to safeguard individual freedom against arbitrary and lawless state action. It serves as a procedural device to subject executive, judicial, or other governmental restraints on personal liberty to judicial scrutiny. The writ is used to test the legality of a prisoner's current detention, not to determine guilt or innocence. Constitutional and statutory basis. In the United States, the right to habeas corpus is protected by the Constitution, specifically the suspension clause of Article 1, Section 9, Clause 2, which states that the writ cannot be suspended unless in cases of rebellion or invasion when public safety may require it. Federal statutes also provide federal courts with the authority to grant habeas relief to state prisoners. Modern applications today, habeas corpus is mainly used as a post-conviction remedy for state or federal prisoners challenging the legality of their detention. It is also applied in immigration or deportation cases, military detentions, and other matters involving the legality of custody. Procedure. The writ of habeas corpus can be issued by a superior court and is directed to the custodian of the prisoner, commanding them to produce the prisoner and show why they are being held. The writ can be sought by the prisoner or by a third party on their behalf. Limitations and challenges. There are limitations to the writ of habeas corpus, such as the inability of circuit precedent to refine Supreme Court habeas corpus jurisprudence. Additionally, there have been legislative attempts to restrict habeas rights, such as the Military Commissions Act of 2006, which has been challenged for its constitutionality. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.